Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I have my recent faves and fails to share with you. And because I only have a few fails this time, I wanted to go ahead and do those first so that I can end on a high note. And then the rest of the video, I will just be able to tell you about things that I have been loving. So why don't we go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right, the first product that I tried that was a fail for me is this Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. And I picked this up in the shade Pink Rose and I purchased this from Ulta. And I read a lot of reviews about this before I purchased it and I thought it would be just a nice alternative to concealer just on days where I'm not wearing much makeup and I just wanna brighten up the under eye area a little bit because it's kind of supposed to be a combo of like skincare and a concealer. It's got hyaluronic acid and caffeine and the tint and it sounds great. And from most of the reviews that I read, women were raving about this. So gave it a try and for me, it just does not work. I'll try to show you. All right, here's what it looks like out. And I think the tint is actually fine for my skin tone because I do have very fair skin with like pink undertones. And when I just rub this on my the back of my hand, I don't think you can really see um, the cakiness that happened when I put this under my eyes. I had horrible cakiness. It just was muddling and collecting in spots. I couldn't blend it out either with a beauty sponge, a brush, my fingers, nothing seemed to work. It just looked extremely cakey. So then the next day I thought, okay, I, I will put like a primer underneath it. That did not help either. So I've tried many different variations, you know, switching up moisturizers, thinking that might be the issue, but I just can't get this to work on me. So I think that maybe the reviews happen to be women that are younger and maybe just on older, crepey under eye skin, this just isn't a good product because for me, this was a definite fail. The next few products, it's kind of going to be a theme here on, um, hair texturizing sprays that I've been trying. And this is for all of you fine haired ladies can probably relate. I mean, I've had fine thin hair my entire life and then the lovely joys of getting older, it seems to be getting finer and finer every year. And I realized that I'm looking for products that just, you know, add a little bit of grip to my hair and make me feel like I have more of it. So I've been trying all the texture <laughs> sprays that I can find. And this one I picked up from Target. It's the Kristen S Working Texture Spray. And I was so happy because Target has um, that little area in the beauty section where they have a lot of sample and travel sizes. So I was able to pick the travel size up of this, which I was happy because it was a complete fail for me. The actual spray and product of this is not bad. I mean, it adds like a little bit of grip and a light hold, not a lot. But what I can't get over with this is that the fragrance is just so strong. And the thing is, it's not even a fragrance that I really don't like. It's actually kind of a pleasant fragrance, but when it is up near your face and it doesn't dissipate throughout the whole day, it was just too much for me. So I literally use this one time and then I can't use this again just because of the smell that it left on my hair. I remember being outside the day that I tried it and a little breeze came by and oh my gosh, it was even stronger it seemed like when the breeze just caught my hair. So this was a fail for me, the Kristen S Working Texture Spray. And yet, searching for texture sprays, I had to try the, Pan the Pantene Perfectly Undone Texturizing Sugar Hairspray. And this sounded interesting. It says that you're supposed to tussle your hair with your fingers and mist over hair as a finishing step. So I had my hair all done and I misted this over, you know, tousling it with my fingers. And this stuff 
made my hair look greasy. At first it was wet and I was like, oh, I hope it's going to you know, dry. No, it did not dry. It was piecey and greasy looking. And I didn't use a lot. I mean, the spray, I have to say, is not very fine. It's like a, a pump, I don't know. Yeah, it comes out pretty like heavily. So that might be one of the issues, but it just like, I looked like I had greasy separated hair all day long when I tried this. And then, you know, always gotta try one more time. So I was like, maybe I used too much. And the next time I tried it, same exact thing. I looked separated greasy hair. So this Pantene uh, Perfectly Undone Texturizing Sugar Spray was a fail for me. Okay, so now we're moving on to the good part. All of the things that I have been loving and that have become favorites recently. And I think I can safely say I can stop looking for a texturizing hair product because I have found it. This is the Tresemme One Step Texture. And it, this spray here, it says it adds texture, it's a matte finish, it has adds grip, strength, heat protection, and a UV complex. I love this stuff. <laughs> this is amazing. For all you ladies that have the fine thin hair, this makes you feel like you have like more hair. It adds that grip and texture, but without that like gunky feeling that some texture sprays can add. You know, like if you've used ever too much dry shampoo and it just feels kind of gunky on your hair. This has been amazing, amazing. I am like just in awe of this product. You, the way that you can use this is actually two different ways. You can spray this on damp hair for styling, but then on like second day hair, you can spray it on dry hair. And that's what I do for second day hair is I just spritz a little like kind of underneath and let it air dry. It just adds the nicest feel and texture to my very fine thin hair. I love this stuff. I will say that if there are any like, you know, bad parts about this product. The two things that I've noticed are the scent is something I'm not really completely fond of, but it dissipates. So it does smell when you're first applying the product, but then it goes away very quickly. So I can deal with that and you have to find your sweet spot of how much to apply because if you go a little bit too much then you will get that gunky feeling so you've got to find your sweet spot with this and i have found it and now i'm just never looking back i absolutely love this and i'm worried because you probably know if you've ever fallen in love with a drugstore hair product they don't sometimes last they don't stay around forever and I'm just praying that Tresemme does not discontinue this. I've already got like two backups and this one because I'm already nervous about when they decide to, to take this product away from me. So I cannot say enough about this Tresemme texture spray. My absolute favorite. I am really, really loving this one. I guess we might as well continue with hair products because there's it seems to be a theme with me that I was shopping for a lot of hair products recently. What I want to show you now is I picked up this Quico or Quico. It is a two-in-one styling tool. It is the combination of a flat iron and a curling iron in one. And I have to say, I was looking at Lange, is that how you say their hair products? They have like kind of a combo flat iron curling iron and it was like, I think it's like 160 or $170. And I really did not wanna pay that much. So good old Amazon, I'm searching on there and I found this Quico or Quico one, however you pronounce it. And what is so neat about this is that it's two tools in one. It is a hair straightener and a, a curling iron, and it's so easy to use. What you do if you want the curling iron, you just push in this little button on the side, and then you can see this just operates the curling iron. When you wanna switch over to a flat iron, you just, on the other side, there's a straightener button. You push that in, and now you have a straightener. 
And what is actually so different to me and something I think makes all the difference with this um, appliance is that it also has this little reservoir, white reservoir right on the top that you can put water in. And I've actually put distilled water because we have really hard water and I just don't want it to like clog up the, the curling iron. And you stick this right in the top and then when you are curling your hair or straightening your hair, you can just press down on this button and it releases just the tiniest bit of steam. And I have hair that really doesn't hold a curl very well. My hair is just kind of funny. I have really straight hair except for like underneath I have curls, like really tight curls, like just underneath, like at the nape of my neck. And then the rest of my hair is very straight and doesn't hold a curl. So sometimes I'm, you know, straightening with a brush, the curly spots underneath, or, you know, it, it's just a mess. But anyways, with this, I can easily go from one tool to the other. And I think the steam makes the curls like hold longer than a regular curling iron. It's the first time I feel like curling appliance, like it, my hair really holds it for all day long. And I've just been having fun just kind of playing with it and, you know, learning how to use the flat iron to do like beachy waves. And I just love this little curling iron appliance. And I think it's great too because for travel, if you do like a, both a straightener and a curling iron, you can bring just one with you when you're traveling to save up space in your suitcase. So this has been an awesome find. I will go ahead and link it below. But if you like a straightener and a curling iron, this is so easy, so nice. It is definitely one of my new favorites. Okay, this next item I almost debated about sharing it with you because I have since tried to go ahead and order more and you can't. And you're probably like, why are you sharing with us something that we can't get if we love it? And I'll tell you why in just a moment. So this is the Bath and Body Works and this is the hand soap in the Vanilla Blush scent. And this is like the girliest hand soap I have ever used and that's the kind it probably sounds funny to describe it like that but the the fragrance notes in this soap are vanilla blossom peony and sheer musk and I am not usually like a big flor floral gal so this is just that like just enough floral underneath but with that musk and the vanilla it is like girly heaven and I have this by my side of the sink up in our, on our master bath. And for me, it's like the little joys of using a hand soap that smells so pretty and nice. I, I, it just adds to my day. So I love this soap and loved it so much that when I went back to Bath and Body Works recently, I was like, I'm gonna stock up on this. Well, of course you can't find it anymore. You can't find it online. But I wanted to share it with you, the scent, because if you ever happened to go to one of the Bath and Body Works, like semi-annual sales, you know when they put all the soaps out in those bins, you might be able to find it there. And if you do, you might want to scoop it up and try it because it just, it's so girly and so lovely. And I'm just hoping that I can find more of these. Okay, the next favorite product I have to show you is this little tool that I've been using to polish my nails. And this is called the Poppy. It comes in this box, but this is what the Poppy is. It's from Olive and June. It's this big, like, silicon thing that you put over nail polish handles. So it just sticks right over the cap of your nail polish. And what this does is that for some reason, hanging on to this bigger like spongy or like silicone handle, it makes it easier to polish your nails. I don't know why, but it does. And I got this at Target. Target, my Target carries the Olive and June. And so I picked it up there and I have been loving this. Now, I just did my nails yesterday and I feel like I'm doing a neater job polishing them with this, 
Like I don't get it all over my cuticles like I used to. I don't know, something about this just makes polishing your nails easier. So I have just been loving this. So this is a great little find. If you like to polish your nails, you might want to try this because it just somehow it works and it makes it easier. So this is the Poppy from Olive in June. Okay, I've got a skincare product to share with you. And this is a serum that I have been loving this winter. And this is the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. And I picked this up at Target. I was not familiar with this brand, the Coco Kind, and I'm almost out. I, I have to go to Target today to get more. It's kind of, I'll show you, it's like a white, creamy, if you can see, creamy serum. And it just feels so nice and it soaks right into your skin. And in this serum, there are obviously ceramides, but there's also a tiny bit of like lactic acid, which I think is one of the ingredients that maybe helps those ceramides like penetrate even better. And you probably know, you've probably heard already, the ceramides are a naturally occurring in our skin, but as we get older, it's one of the other things that seems to, we seem to lose ceramides. And it just makes sense to me that when you're replacing something that used to be in your skin, you know, at a higher percentage when you were younger, when you replace that, it makes sense to me that your skin is going to look better. This has absolutely made my skin look better, but it's also helped with the dryness that I have been fighting this winter. Another thing no one ever tells you about when you're younger, that when you get older, your skin will feel like the Sahara Desert in the winter time, which is what I was going through this winter. And I just felt like even all of my heavy moisturizers that usually always worked for me were still like, I was still getting flaky parts and this has been wonderful. I use this in just my morning routine. I apply this right after I do my timeless vitamin C and then I go ahead and put my daytime moisturizer on over this. And my skin has just been feeling better. It's been looking better. So whatever the combination of ingredients is, it's working for me. And I wanted to share it with you. This Coco Kind, the Ceramide Barrier Serum. This is a really, really good one. And I've got to go to Target today and get some more because I, I don't want to be without this. Okay, and to wrap up my favorite things, I did want to show you, this is like a cleaning, um, a cleaning product that I actually mentioned in my first vlog video. I picked this up at Target and have since had a chance to use it and I'm very impressed. It is the Power Paste with the Scrub Mommy Sponge. And what this is, it's a combo, if I can open it. It comes with the little Scrub Mommy sponge on the top, and then on the bottom is the cleaning paste. And you just take off the little cover. You can see there's the paste in there. And what you do is you wet your Scrub Mommy sponge, and then you swirl it around on the paste and pick up some of that paste, and then scrub whatever area you need to scrub and then go ahead and thoroughly rinse afterwards. Well, I got this because we have very hard water and we have black granite in our kitchen and the hard water around the faucets was driving me crazy and there was nothing that I've used that was able to get it off safely with the granite. And this says right on here that it is safe for granite countertops. So, I tried this, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture. I had the hard water stains use this and that the hard water stains on the black granite around the faucet were gone. So I love this, I've since used it in our bathrooms too. If you've got the hard water and you're looking for to clean up around, you know how it gets kind of gunky around your faucets? This stuff really works. So I really love 
the power paste by the people that make the scrub mommy and scrub daddy sponge so those are all my faves and fails recently i love sharing them with you and i just hope that i it's helpful if hearing about things that work and some things that don't work I do want to thank you once again for watching. I know you are busy and taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope that you know how much I appreciate that. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.